Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be painting the sister to my previous piece, which also featured a cat skull in a watch. Um, but this one's going to be in a lovely purple tone, so one of my favorite shades to work with, obviously. I tend to use it a lot in my work, especially in the shadows. It's just a gorgeous way to add that richness. So like my previous piece, I started with my sketch on my wooden panel, my primed wooden panel, and then I took a dilute wash of purple just to give it a nice base to work on, and then I jumped right in with my oils. So I like to block things out, usually my shadows first, just to kind of get an idea of where the piece is going to be going. And then from there I kind of selectively start popping in some highlights and then just jump back and forth between the two until it starts to come together. So the way I usually work on my oil paintings is I kind of work in a couple of layers. So my underpainting is usually pretty rough, but it helps to kind of be able to place where your bulk shadows are going to be going, your bulk highlights, and just give the piece a general feel. So usually for my underpainting, I like to do it all in one go, or at least big subjects at a time. And then once that underpainting is completed, then I work on top with more detail, building up more areas, and then usually I always end off a piece by glazing to kind of pull everything together. So as you can see here, I'm starting to work with some shadows, uh, some more fine shadows in some of the contours of the skull. So I refuse to use any black paint for this little series that I'm doing. Um, and I'm trying to actually get away from using black paint as much as I can because it's so easy to make things look flat with black paint without meaning to. Now, as much as I wish I could eliminate white, that one's a little more difficult because that's just not how paint and color works. But black is an easy one to eliminate and it just kind of, especially if you're choosing one particular color that you're going to be kind of basing your shadows off, here it's purple. But I was able to create these nice deep dark tones with a couple of different purple tones and some dark brown. Blue is always a nice one to throw in there as well. Um, and if ever you're having too much, you're having an issue where your shadows look too saturated in color and you want them to be a bit more muted, try adding one of the complementary colors to it, just a little bit, and it should help kind of mellow that out. Still developing my love for this kind of silicone tool that I found. Um, it's basically a chiseled edge silicone tool. Uh, but it works really well for kind of laying down thick oil paint. Um, it does give it almost more of like a pixelated effect. So imagine large pixels. Um, still not sure if I'm really loving that technique or not. I think it might be kind of a technique that I use selectively in paintings. But for this series, I'm having a lot of fun with it. It's just kind of satisfying to be able to like lay down that oil paint almost as if it's like butter with a nice soft kind of flexible knife. There's something very satisfying about it. Though you do have to ensure that your layer underneath is dry because although it is a flexible tip, it still puts too much pressure on a wet layer and it just simply wipes it away. So as long as your base underneath is dry or mostly dry, should be good to go. I know it's silly, but it's bothering me how much my orange nails clash with the color of the painting. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now, time for the fun part! We get to do some glazing. So, I always create my glazes with Liquin Original, which is by uh, Windsor & Newton, but there are various types of glazing mediums that you can use. And basically the one that I use is just kind of like a thick, clear gel. And what you do is just you mix that with a tiny bit of pigmented paint and mix that together and then you apply that in washes to your painting. So as you can see here, I mixed a purple glaze and I'm going to be applying that on most of the painting except for the parts where their brightest highlights are. But what this is going to do is it's really going to like enhance that rich purple and it's going to give the shadow some more depth. I knew the watch face I wanted it to be very simple, um, which is almost kind of like suggestions of where the numbers and the hands would be, rather than being like, oh, that's obviously a watch face. Um, so I just kind of created with some created the face with some really rough sort of hatches. And we're done! Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about any techniques or really anything, leave a comment down below. I will try my best to get back to you. If you like what you see, please subscribe to see more, and we'll see you next time. Thanks guys!